happy Easter, it's Easter Saturday and uh, welcome to um, the prize unboxing for April. So this is the first recording of the month, uh, the first lot of prizes, we've actually got six, whoops, six to open, mind the tripod. Um, the first one is a big one and it's just down here but it's too heavy to lift so we're going to open it and then when we've got the box open we'll move the camera so you can see what's inside. So um, let's do yeah. it Rai. Yeah. Very heavy, this one. If you can hear something in the background, that's Nana. Nana muttering in the background. She's here for us, for us, with us for Easter, which is lovely. Enjoying live unboxing instead of on YouTube, like she normally watches it. Okay. Right, hang on. Have a look then. What do we have in here, Ryland? <laughs> What's this? What's this I see? Lazy Spa. It's a lazy spa. It's the comfortable, affordable, go anywhere spa. So let's put this camera back so you can see us again. Whoops. Oh. This is slightly like shambolic, doesn't it? Well, anyway, so this is a massive, <laughs> heavy, inflatable hot tub. Um, so th this is a prize. It's actually it's going to be too hard for us to get it out of here. Um, but yeah, so it's an inflatable hot tub. Didn't quite know what to expect from this one. It's a prize from Heart FM. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if it's going to fit in the garden at the moment, we need to see what model it is and how massive it is, uh, but obviously quite an exciting prize. Now this competition um, was on the radio and it was on the breakfast show with Amanda and Jamie and they ran it every day and they've been doing really early ones on Heart, so this one was, it was broadcast at about 7am and I knew it was going to be on so I was going out for my usual Monday morning run um, and I put Heart FM on and I listened in and then I stopped to text in for the competition uh, and then I forgot about it and they phoned three times because I didn't hear the phone ringing because I was listening to K-pop too loudly after I texted uh, and then finally I was like, oh my god, the phone's ringing so I got it out and they were like, we've been trying to call you three times you, you picked Carrot 5 so the competition was with the Kit Kat Bunny theme they had a real rabbit in the studio, five carrots which carrot was the rabbit going to pick? Um, so I texted in number five and I was on air and I've won this prize, which is not only the hot tub, uh, but there's three other parts to the prize as well. So we've got one more part here, I think. Um, so we'll open these two today and the other bits and bobs coming separately, apparently. So obviously quite an exciting prize. And I'm hoping there was actually a little video on her Instagram of Snowy the Rabbit winning this. For me, which I should be able to edit into the video to show you what happened. But we placed five carrots in the pen, each labelled one to five. It's time now to release Snowy. Here and we go. Snowy, Snowy is, is. She's sniffing around. Off. She's just getting her bearings. Where will oh, she go? One, two, shape. three, four, or oh, five. No, she's gone up to the back. She's more interested in the Kit Kat uh, poster. She's obviously a chocolate. She she's very close to number five. She's very close you. to number. Oh, she's and, got it. Oh, oh I think hang on. We have a winner. We've got a winner. Who is it, Jamie? Carrot number five is Diana. Well done, Diana. Great. Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Good morning, Diana. I'm just going to go over to Snowy now to see uh, what she thinks about changing your life, Diana. Hang on a moment. Snowy, you've made Diana's Easter. How do you feel? Okay. She says she's absolutely overwhelmed. <laughs> like, and who knew that. you needed oh. an inflatable hot tub to make your Easter <laughs> extra special? This is hard. Definitely worth kind of keeping an eye on the heart website because when they do the early morning competitions, I think a lot of people just aren't listening at 7am, so they're not texting in. So you've got a better chance of winning those ones. And it only costs you 10p to text in for those as well. They're not the expensive text messages. Yes, this, so this is also part of the same prize. So the idea was to get, um, it was like to make your Easter more exciting was the theme. So is there a message? 
no message on it. Oh, thank you for shopping at Amazon, not really. But yes, yeah, so this is a Bose Soundlink speaker. So we've got the wireless music that we can listen to while we're enjoying time in the hot tub. Oh, look, it's got a little carry handle. That's cute, isn't it? It's like a musical handbag. That's really nice, isn't it? Lovely. So both of those are from Heart FM. Thank you very much. It's my first big radio win in a while, but of course that probably means I'm going to get the ban from entering global competitions again now. But never mind. It's a nice prize. So next prize, go for this one, Ryan, which I think... And that one. Um, no, that one. That one's on its own, which I think you might enjoy this prize. You might like this one more than usual. Ah, what do we have? Pokies. Yeah. So they're from the Pokemon competition. Win with Pokemon.co.uk and there's weekly winners. I think 111 winners every week win 10 packs of the new Pokemon cards. And to enter that prize draw, you just need to buy any Pokemon card product and upload a photograph of your receipt to the website. So um, we were week three winners. We also entered in week one and week two as well because obviously yeah. love Pokemon. We've been buying the cards, haven't we? So congratulations. And there's also a big prize at the end after nine weeks, ten weeks of... Wait, I can't remember how many weeks it is. But anyway, ten winners at the end get, I think, one and a half thousand pounds worth of Pokemon prizes, which is a crazy prize really for kids. Um, but yeah, so that's definitely one. If you like Pokemon cards, definitely worth entering because um, your cheapest qualifier is about three ninety nine to take part in that prize draw. So I'm sure you'll enjoy your own unboxing. That is later. Yeah. Cool, and this one as well, I think you might like. So another Amazon one here, one which I may have opened thinking it was something I ordered and then quickly sealed back up again before I saw it. Maybe an Easter themed prize, this one. from Trussocks Distillery. Enjoy your prize dye. Your gin will be sent direct from the distillery. Ah, oh, which brings me on to that prize, which has come directly from the distillery today. So Rye gets the chocolate egg, and oh, you can guess what's in here. Um, this was, this was a competition with McQueen Gin, and um, they advertised it on Twitter, and I, I found it while I was looking for Easter competitions to put on my blog. And I think you had to, well, they said to enter via their app, but actually when you downloaded the McQueen app and tapped on it, you just got taken to a regular, um, just a um, prize door entry form. And then you could do the usual, you could share it for your bonus points and all those sort of things. Um, so this has been quite quick, actually, because I think they only notified me on Thursday. And... So, mm, to experience the world's coolest label, download the app, click on the interactive content, point at your bottle label. Mmm, what that is. So, here we go. More alcohol. There's been a bit of an alcoholic theme, hasn't there? The, the last couple of unboxings with all the sake. So, this is five chilli gin from McQueen, that one. So, um... But yeah, but you might remember that on my prize bingo for this year, I put gin on the list. I'm actually, I'm trying to win plain gin, but this is the second bottle of flavoured gin that I've won so far this year. But I'm sure it will still get drunk and used in cocktails. So thank you to McQueen Gin for that. Um, booze and chocolates. Right, this one. Last one. Is that the last one? Okay. That's here. Go. Right. Yeah. We are in. Huh? Ah. So, what do we have, Rye? 
Ah, Aero Bliss, more chocolate, no, and, and I haven't this. tried these actually. And so good. Mm. So we've got Aero chocolates, and what's in here? Word it. Word it. Okay, so word it rhyme. So be careful with this. This is a prize from Aero on Instagram. And it was a Mother's Day competition prize. Oh yeah. So it's actually um, it's actually a, a gift for my mum. So which I will have to carefully send to her. So this is a really nice competition where um, I think I think there were quite a lot of winners, maybe twenty winners, and you won a special poem for your mum and some chocolate. So what they did is they they, they said you have to email ten facts about your mother and then they write a poem would you like to read it or should i read it, you can read it. okay so um yeah so i've got a framed poem for my mum which i can read out in the unboxing because she'll get it in the post before she sees this so uh mum where do i start with you the most special lady in the world it's true you're talented and caring a unique one there's no other mother like diana starry john <laughs> <laughs> So sporty lady, yoga is your way, and a good rock climber back in the day. From Snowden to Ben Nevis and many more, Trifan was a favourite to adore. <laughs> a spider lover, you drink martini, like your home in Porthcawl by the sea. Enjoy watching football, supporting your team, a Birmingham City FC queen. A Beatles fan, a music maestro, mom, I think every word you know. You are my lucky star from Singing in the Rain. We hear your lovely voice again and again. <laughs> oh, mum's voice. <sighs> you enjoy playing cards, a bridge whiz, and the best pork chop dish cook there is. <laughs> Amazing lady, roll on the good times to come. Love you forever and always, my mum. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> lovely voice. Oh, she has got a lovely voice. Bless her. So yes, I'm sure mum you'll enjoy me <laughs> reading that out on YouTube for everybody. I thought that was such a lovely prize to, to win and they just wanted 10 facts and then they make up the poem from those facts. So that's, oh, that's brilliant. Love it. So thank you so much to Aero for that. And we've had some fab prizes here, haven't we? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the edible ones. Mm. Yeah, so uh, that's it for now. We're gonna get back to eating some chocolate and drinking <laughs> some gin and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello, it's the 6th of April. We've got an exciting unboxing today. Uh, let's start with something small, Ryland, shall we? Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. This one's addressed to Ryland. Blue on the box, it says York Cocoa Works. York Cocoa Works. What does that suggest it might be? Chocolate. Chocolate, yeah, because cocoa is used to make chocolate, correct? Yes. So yes, it is. It's a prize from York Cocoa Works who are on Instagram. And they had um, just a little Easter competition. I was doing searches on Instagram on Easter competition hashtag or Easter giveaway. I can't remember which one and I found quite a few low entry ones that way so I was entering them all as I went through my feed and, and putting some of the competitions onto my blog post and this one I entered and I got a little message saying um oh you've got a prize so I said pop it in the post to Ryland please and I can't remember what it is what is it it's got to be chocolate hasn't it so there we go happy Easter hope you'll enjoy the mixed mini eggs from York Cocoa oh. Works oh they look nice as if you haven't had enough chocolate yet this this Easter. No, I they'll don't. be smart though. I think they'll be quite posh. Handcrafted chocolate eggs. That's a treat. Maybe you'll share those with me. Maybe, Maybe not. <laughs> right then, here's an exciting parcel to open. Okay. Um, right, shall we give it a shake first, Ryan? Right? You giving it a shake? Yes, I have. Okay. You can shake it again if you want. Right. Oh. Mm. Mm. It's 
Shall I have it over here? Look. Have it over here. Okay, so it's a DHL box that's quite big, but it's not very heavy. And you can hear something rattling around inside. What could it be? What could it be? <laughs> There you go. That might come off actually. There you go. Right. Oh, okay. Let's go. What have we got? So this is made out of 24 karat gold. Um, wow. The fingerprints are very... Yeah, silly. yeah. Feels a bit like, remember when we had that trophy for the day and you weren't allowed to touch it because it left marks. So this oh, yeah. is, um, yeah, this is made out of 24 karat gold and it's worth 15,000 pound. So it is a gold brew dog can and I've got the original brew dog can here to show you that it is a replica of this brew dog can. Um, yeah, so this is one of 20 gold cans that BrewDog are giving away this year. You might remember that they gave away gold cans of Punk IPA last year. And there was a bit of controversy because they sent out cans wrapped with a gold ticket in their boxes. And apparently loads of delivery drivers were opening the boxes looking for the gold cans. But they hadn't actually sent out the physical gold can. You needed to claim it. They're doing it differently this year. So what you need to do is buy BrewDog in the shop and upload a photo of your receipt. And then you go into a prize draw to win a gold can. So I bought Lost Lager at Tesco, I believe it was. Tesco. Yeah, I'm sure it was the Lost Lager at Tesco because I think all the other competitions are with Punk IPA and I did the Lager one. Um, uploaded my receipt and got an email on April Fool's Day of all days to say congratulations, you have won a solid gold, not solid gold because it's not solid, it's not that heavy. A gold can worth £15,000 plus I've won £10,000 of shares in BrewDog. So that's a 25 grand prize. It's the biggest prize I've ever won since I started coming cream, <laughs> which is a bit nuts, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, before that it was my car and now I've, I've got a gold can in my house, which I think we'll have to hide away and maybe spray this one gold and have that on display instead. Um, yeah, so that was all I had to do to win. There's loads more opportunities to win. If you buy Punk IPA, it's at various shops. It's going to be at, I think, BP Garages. Um, I can't remember. They're running it at Sainsbury's, Ocado, all different dates. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, a, there will be a blog post on Super Lucky with a list of all the ways that you can win your own gold can. It is well worth doing because you've got to go to a certain shop. You've got to get the receipt, take a photo of the receipt. A lot of people won't do that. It's much easier to just do an instant win where you open a box of beer. Oh, I've got a golden ticket. But a lot of people will forget about the whole receipt thing and not actually enter. Yeah. So it is worth doing, isn't it, Ryland? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is probably one of the... Um, what have I done with the gold can? Oh, it's back in there. I was thinking I've lost it already. Probably one of the weirdest prizes I've ever won, but obviously just an amazing, really unusual prize. And it just goes to show you never quite know what's coming in the post. Now, Riley did know about this. I had to tell him the other day. I just, I just said, we have got something rather unusual to open in the next unboxing. So, yeah. and, and, uh, but yeah, but that, the, uh, the April Fool's Day email was really funny because she emailed me and I responded and I said, oh God, that's really good news. And she, she emailed straight back and said, 
I've just realised it's April Fool's Day and this isn't a joke. You really have won. I'm sorry to email you. It's really bad timing to email just before noon on April Fool's. So, yeah, uh, yeah it was cool. So, brilliant. So, I'm very excited, obviously, about that prize. And hopefully, maybe some more of my um, Super Lucky readers might win gold cans as well, which would be really cool. So, thank you to Brewdog. Really excited about this one. And now I'm going to um, take some random photos because I can't keep this a secret till the 30th of April to reveal in the YouTube video. It's just too exciting. So, I'm going to take some photos now and stick them on social media as well. Uh, and that's it. And I guess it's time for a, a cup of tea and a chocolate. <laughs> See you soon, bye bye. Hello again, it's the 7th of April. It does feel like it's turning into a bit of an epic unboxing this month already, doesn't it? Very exciting though. Um, I've got another big parcel that I need to show you. Not much to unbox, I'm afraid, so I just have to drop the camera down and it's a slight reveal more than an unbox. So here we go. We have got a, a lovely new Weber Master Touch Kettle Barbecue. Ooh. So this is quite an exciting one because uh, I had Weber barbecue on my wish list bingo this year because Rob really wanted one um, because we've got a little small portable barbecue that we take camping um, and we used to have a gas barbecue um, but it was just too big to keep anywhere. It was massive and wasn't working very well so we um, passed that on and then we decided that the little portable one it's just not big enough if you want to cook for the family. So Rob said it'd be brilliant if we could win a Weber barbecue this year. So this is part of the Heart FM prize. And this was the main part of the prize I was entering for because I heard it advertised and I was like, oh, Weber barbecue, that's on the bingo wish list card. Want to win one this year. Um, so when I won the prize, um, they, they called me to confirm everything that was coming and they said it was a gas barbecue. And I said, oh, actually, I uh, would really like a smaller charcoal one rather than a gas one. Um, so they were brilliant. So it was NDL and the guy just said, yeah, just um, choose a barbecue. We'll find the best one that we can uh, that's not gas on the Weber website. So we've gone for the Master Touch, which is even better than the Kettle Barbecue. Um, and also, as well as the barbecue, he said, well, uh, because it's not as much money as a gas barbecue would be, um, we'll send you a couple of accessories as well. So I can't remember what, what he said he was gonna send though, but we'll find out. So we've got, uh, oh, cover. So we've got a barbecue cover, which is handy. And also, oh, leather gloves. Special grill master gloves for Rob. I don't really do the barbecuing that much. I make the salad. Uh, but oh, these are nice. I'm very swish. Mm. So there you go. So fancy new barbecue and some massive barbecue gloves. So all we need now is for it to stop snowing <laughs> so we can actually get outside and start enjoying our summer party stuff. Um, yes, yeah, so brilliant. So again, thanks to Hart, it's part of that prize. I've got one more part of that prize still to arrive, obviously. It's a lovely prize for the summer. Really excited about it. And that is it for today, bye-bye. Hello there, it's the 14th of April. I've got the very last part of my Heart FM win to tell you about today. And it's come by email and it's £250 of Tesco gift vouchers. So I've got a £100 e-gift card and a £150 e-gift card there. So it was my choice of supermarket and the idea is that I use it to buy food for my new Weber barbecue. So thank you very much to Heart for that amazing prize. Look forward to spending those. Another prize that's come by email this morning that I need to tell you about is with Globals. Now, Globals is a crazy golf indoor um, place in Brighton, and we had Ryland's birthday party there a few years ago and love it. So with places like that, what I tend to do is go to their Facebook page or Instagram page and choose to get notifications every time they post because they do a lot of giveaways. So I've been entering Globals competitions probably for a few years now. And they did another regular one this week and my name came up as the winner. And they're always quite fun with Globals because they actually print off all the names of the commenters onto little bits of paper and they do a little video where they throw it up in the air and choose the winners. So I've worn two gift vouchers. Uh, each one is for a family of four to have a round of Crazy Golf there. And they've got two different Crazy Golf glow in the dark courses, which are really fun. So I look forward to going back there soon. Um, got a prize here to open, which apparently it did, it was sent out a few weeks ago and it got 
smashed never got here so i chased it up and they said oh sorry we've just checked with the courier and apparently it uh, it got damaged but they didn't tell anyone that it got damaged so hopefully this one isn't going to be damaged and this is actually a prize that i didn't win it's one of those wonderful competitions on instagram where you have to tag a friend and if you win, you and your friend both get a prize. So I've got Ali, Ali Gill, to thank for this one because she tagged me in the giveaway. Okay, so this is my bottom. Please turn me over. So that must be the top. You've got, let's do this carefully. Hi, Di. Thank you so much for entering our giveaway. Well, I didn't actually. Actually, did I? I can't remember if I also entered it as well. Keep your eyes peeled for plenty more in the near future. Love from Team Bora Box. So it is some more chocolate. More chocolate for the collection. I've worn so much chocolate lately. It's dangerous. Um, that's, what's that? Love Cocoa chocolate. And, oh, another bar of chocolate. Milk and vanilla chocolate. And then I don't know if you can see very beautifully packaged there. We've got a bottle of Prosecco. So that's a treat of a prize. So thank you very much to Ali for tagging me in that one. And Borough Box, I think, do do quite a lot of giveaways on Instagram, so give them a follow. And I've got one more thing to tell you about, which is, ah, oh, it's this, this letter here that came yesterday. And I think I know who it's from because they put a little sticker on the back. It's got my formal name on. Look, I must have done an autofill on the entry form. Put Diana. And here it is. So this is, it's a gift certificate from Vi or V Aesthetics. And it's £50 to spend at their um, beauty salon. And that's up in London. So this, this was a competition where um, I've done quite a lot of searching on Instagram lately. This, this specifically was Easter competitions when I was looking for egg hunts, find the eggs on the website and things like that. And I found this one, I was quite interested by it because they said, we want you to find the words on our website that have got an Easter egg emoji either side of them. And I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that because I think there were 10 prizes ranging from, there were quite a lot of um, there were face masks and skin creams and things like that. So. Um, and I worked out quite a clever way to do it. If you use Google search, if you want to search a specific website, um, you just put site, the word site and a colon after it, and then you put in the website. So I literally put in the egg emoji and um, restricted the search to the V Aesthetics website. And then it came up with the, uh, I think it came up with 11 pages that the eggs were on. They're meant to be 12, but I only found 11 and then you just had to send your answers. So I went up to all the web, the, the web pages, searched in the search bar for the egg emoji and then saw what word was next to it. So didn't have to hunt through loads and loads of pages to find those little eggs. So thank you for that. And it's one of those things where I, I quite often win prizes to use up in London and I just save them up and then hopefully when things start opening up and it's, um, it's gonna be a bit easy to get up to town, I will go and have a facial or something there and treat myself. And that is it for today, so I'll see you soon. Hello, we're finally at the end of April and this is um, the last of the unboxing for this month. So I've got two small parcels to open and they're both books. Um, so this one is actually for Ryland, but he's at school. So I'm going to open it on his behalf and then maybe I'll put it away as a gift for another time because to be honest, he's got a lot of books from the library at the moment, doesn't really need any new ones. So this is from Topster. Ah, very rare. I actually get this little certificate and with the book. You always put the name in when you enter the giveaways in case you get one. So congratulations, Ryland, you're a Topster winner. You have won a copy of The Dog That Saved the World Cup. Um, so oh, it looks quite cute. It maybe looks a little bit young for Ryland actually. So, yeah, I have to say you might like it, but it, that might be one that's maybe good to pass on to one of his friends who's got a younger brother because it's, uh, he's getting into books that are a bit 
thicker at the moment. So thank you Topster for that there. We always appreciate the Topster books. And I've got a book here as well, which was underpaid, which is a bit naughty of the promoter, but they did apologize for it actually. They contacted me and said, oh, did we not pay enough money? So this is a book for me. And it is from Urban Eats. And this was an Instagram competition. Hi Di, thanks for taking part in our competition. What a great story about Kuro Tamago. Adding seven years to your life through food sounds great. If we get to Japan, we'll be looking out for these for sure. Hopefully this book will inspire some cooking at home. Um, so it's the world's best street food uh, book. Oh, this looks good actually. Oh, and it's got recipes for how to make them. Gimbap in Korea, actually. I, yeah, that would be good to learn how to make that. So um, yes, yeah, so this was a competition on Instagram. You just had to share a photograph from the story behind some street food that you'd eaten anywhere in the world. Um, so one of my favorites was when we were in Hakone in Japan, which is near Mount Fuji, and they serve black eggs, which have been, um, the hard-boiled eggs, which have been boiled in sulfuric water. And if you eat one of these black eggs, then it adds seven years to your life, apparently, which um, Ryland started to panic because I think he was, he was seven at the time and thought he'd wake up 14 the next day, uh, but didn't. So I said, I think they put it seven years on the, the end of your life. Um, so that was my entry. So thank you very much to Urban Eat for that. And make sure you follow them on Instagram because they do do a lot of giveaways. And that's it for the end of quite an epic April unboxing. And I wish you loads of luck for May. I hope you have a good one and you're very lucky. See you soon. Bye bye.